Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 6th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at the last 48 hours on our sun as we've had multiple C-class solar flares. But other than that, we have remained unscathed from any major space weather events over the past few days. It's been quiet on our sun except for these large plasma filaments dancing around the surface and still have not ripped away just yet. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, there is a lot of that turning in. And as well as some pretty active regions. Big sunspot groupings turning away. That's where most of the C-class solar flares were coming from. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed with the daily events worldwide. Another look here at multi-spectrum. Active regions, big plasma filaments there. Those are huge. Getting ready for the Earth-facing party. Over the next couple days, we could see those filaments either destabilize or snap out towards us. We also have one coronal hole developing in the northern region. The last few images. Another way to look at our sun here, 171 angstroms. You can really see the heliosphere in action and all of the Magnetic fields of the sunspot regions interacting and firing away amazing images. And right now we have 10 sunspot regions earth facing. Quick look at these sunspot regions in motion. A little time lapse view of our sun today. Current space weather conditions, there are none to speak of. Solar wind speeds are coming in at 334 kilometers per second right now. And that's been pretty streamlined at 330 for the last 24 hours. Solar X-ray flux, as I said, multiple C-class solar flares. A couple big spikes there. One minor M-class two days ago. Solar proton flux remains low. Geomagnetic activity coming right down today to a KP.5. Looking at the Space Weather Prediction Center... This was our most recent space weather event. Little geomagnetic instability starting on Independence Day, but most of it was scooting underneath of us there in these visuals you can see. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing see me blasting off there. Outgoing position. But then we also have another one here, and that is a very large see me taking off in the outgoing position. And we've seen multiple CMEs taking off from the backside of the sun too. Little yellow circle there is Earth. And all of that green and yellow and intense red is space weather activity heading our way starting on the 13th. Now let's have a look at Alaska 2 showing the last 48 hours of space weather. Big CMEs from the backside of the sun. And as well showing the most recent CME I showed in the ISWA space prediction spiral from the bottom right, right there. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. We did have quite an earthquake event as forewarned here with Daily Events Worldwide. Multiple earthquakes at the Juan de Fuca plate. And it started with a 5.0 and a 4.3 and then graduated up to a 5.7 magnitude earthquake to Fino, Canada. So no tsunamis were sent out, no watches, no warnings, but multiple earthquakes there off the coast, Juan de Fuca plate, releasing some energy. Same with Montana this week, 3.9 earthquake there. But yeah, most of the activity has been up off the coast of Vancouver and Washington. Tofino, Canada today, 5.0 magnitude. Hawthorne, Nevada, 3.8. Other than that, USGS is reporting just under 200 earthquakes across this map. Pretty quiet through Central America, South America, lots of activity up into Peru, active volcano region. Some pretty deep earthquakes here. Fiji, 
540 km depth, that's the deepest the past 24 hours. Notable here, 4.2. New Zealand. Papua New Guinea here, Madang, 4.8. And as well, the largest earthquake today, 5.5 earthquake, Namuek, Taiwan. Sorry, Philippines. Notable deep earthquakes there through the Aleutian Islands and up into Kamchatka. 4.9 earthquake here in Greece. And as well, a 4.1 southeast there. 4.4 Indian Ridge. But pretty quiet through the region right now. Still 48 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet. Give you a quick glance here at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. And off the coast there at the Juan de Fuca Plate, we saw nine earthquakes in this latest earthquake event, largest being the 5.7 magnitude. Take a quick moment to thank you all for watching and subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide. Don't forget to give a big old thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. Staying aware and prepared with Daily Events. Way too quiet through the Central America region, but there is a lot of volcanic activity releasing pressure. Off the west coast, we could still see some remnant earthquakes over the next few days. So, heads up along the west coast and all through Alaska. So, speaking of volcanoes, let's have a look at our sulfur dioxide forecast. Big eruption at Etna a couple days ago. Spewing out a very large pyroclastic cloud and sulfur dioxide plume. As you can see here, as it came out of Italy, swooped down into Libya, northern parts of Africa, and is now heading towards Iran. So all of the dark red regions is where the highest concentration of sulfur dioxide emissions are from. And most of these are from the erupting volcanoes. But there is also something else that contributes, and that would be wildfires. Having a look here, you can see lots of plumes coming off of Kamchatka, parts of eastern Russia, and as well through the Aleutian Islands, even Anchorage. But notable here, across northern Canada, Northern Alberta and BC, big plume coming out of there from the wildfires that have erupted over the last couple days. But you ain't seen nothing yet. Wait until you see the fires that are growing in Russia. There's all of our active volcanoes through Guatemala, Mexico. Now let's have a look at Hurricane Barrel, as it is now, right now, a tropical storm but most likely will be upgraded again to a possible Category 3 hurricane as it makes landfall. Corpus Christi, Texas, by Monday morning. So Sunday into Monday, Hurricane Barrel will be making landfall. Corpus Christi, Texas, but most likely Category 1 they're forecasting here, but it could be Category 2 when it makes landfall. So stay tuned to Daily Events Worldwide. I will have a live stream going here. But look at this forecast for Thursday, heading out to the northeastern parts of the United States, then eventually to Canada. Now, something I wanted to share here with you. Look at this path of Hurricane Barrel. Category 5 major hurricane back on July 2nd. But this thing is dragging out one of the largest dust storms I've seen come out of the Sahara in quite some time. Have a quick look here as Hurricane Barrel made its trek across the central Atlantic. There is the most recent view. There's Hurricane Barrel heading west. And then look at these large dust plumes coming off of the Sahara. Being dragged straight across central Atlantic. And as well spiraling up into the Mediterranean. This is a NASA worldview showing all the satellite imagery from around the world. Have a look at Eastern Russia. 
there's probably about a hundred fires that were sparked over the past few days since June 28th and forward. Some nasty air quality across eastern Russia right now with these very large wildfires. Pretty desolate and unpopulated land though, so not really affecting man. Quick look here overlooking northern Alberta and BC. You can see the wildfire smoke barreling through northern BC. And right now, nothing to report. California, knock on wood. Now let's have a look at the weather forecast. Showing Hurricane Barrel making landfall Sunday into Monday, Corpus Christi, Texas, before heading up into central and northeastern United States by Wednesday into Thursday, making landfall, or sorry, impacting Ontario. So Hurricane Barrel is heading towards Ontario for Thursday into Friday. And then most of the systems will be hanging out across the Canadian prairies and northeastern regions of Canada, dry across most of North America. But watch for multiple days of thunderstorm activities, daily evaporation rains. Having a look here over Europe, you've got about four low pressure systems coming through this week. Long range forecast coming in up into the middle of the month. No major hurricanes developing in the Atlantic. No major typhoons. But we could see something de developing here through the monsoon regions. Lots of moisture coming through this week. Low pressure system affecting southeastern regions of Australia. And still a strong system affecting North and South Korea this week. Quick look here overlooking the Pacific as multiple high pressure ridge regions are blocking all low pressure systems, thwarting all of the moisture northward into Alaska and parts of northern BC. And it does not show any signs of changing just yet. Now let's have a look at our upper level winds brought to you by nullschool.com, depicting our polar vortex in the southern hemisphere right now as it is pretty oblonged and stretched out towards Australia and the southern tip of South America. Upper level winds, 417 kilometers per hour. Very strong polar vortex right now. Just give you a quick look at what it... I mean, this pretty much depicts our magnetosphere as well, where our south pole is, showing where our north pole is. Upper level winds across the rest of the world. Just a quick glance. Much love, everybody. And again, thank you for watching tonight's update. Keeping humanity aware and prepared. Let's go back a year and see what these winds looked like across Central and North and South America. Last year. This year. Last year. And... Here's last year's southern polar vortex. Big changes on our planet, everybody. And please don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and family. Thank you for almost 80,000 followers. Much love. Stay safe and healthy. Stay awake. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.